Looking for a great space heater to warm up cold winter days and nights? Let's check out the Drail space heaters in three different sizes today. Hi, this is David at Tech for Baba. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, let's look into these three Drail space heaters, see how they are the same and different. And most importantly, have they worked well in keeping me and my family warm this winter? Let's start with the largest one, the Stellaris Max. It stands 24 inches tall, about 6 inches across. It has a rectangular front and half rounded back. There's a display with control buttons on the top that's angled back a little bit and a drill logo on the bottom. There's a white silver strip that runs around the sides and top. It sits on a round base about 8 inches in diameter. There's a slot at the top on the back for carrying the heater around. If it can be angled up a little bit inside, it'd be even easier to hold onto. Basically, the air enters in the back through these grills, gets heated up by the ceramic element inside, and the warm air blows out from the front. On the display, there's a red icon indicating the heater is plugged in. There are six touch buttons for control on the top, a power button to turn the heater on and off. When I turn the heater off, there's a 30 second timer that keeps the fan on to cool down the heater before it shuts off. There's a mode button that toggles through manual heating levels, eco mode that selects the heating level automatically depending on how big the gap is between the ambient temperature and the set temperature. Lastly, a fan only mode without any heating. Long press on the mode button mutes or unmutes the beeping sound. In the manual mode, these plus and minus buttons toggle through the heating levels. H1 at 700 watts, H2 at 900 watts, and H3 at 1500 watts. In the eco mode, the plus and minus buttons increase and decrease the set temperature between 41 to 95 degrees Fahrenheit. There's an auto off timer to set the timer between zero or off to 12 hours at one hour intervals and an oscillation button to turn on and off the 70 degree oscillation. The heater also comes with this nice black remote with rubbery buttons. It has all the same controls, power, minus, plus, mode, mute, oscillation, and timer. Two things make this trail space heater a favorite for me. First is how quickly it warms up the space. The ceramic heating elements heats up very quickly in just a couple of seconds. I could feel the heat immediately. The fan kicks in and oscillates to spread the heat around the room very effectively. Second is how quietly it operates. Just like Drill's tower fan and air purifiers that I've reviewed before, I'll put links to those videos here and in the description below if you want to check them out after this one. The fans on these heaters run at just about 40 decibels or below. Let's check out the medium sized one next. This is the Solaris Slim H3. It stands shorter at 16 inches and it's in a cylindrical shape with a golden ring on the top which has a display and another ring on the bottom with a drill logo. It's about 5.5 inches in diameter. There are touch control buttons on the top, just like the 24 inch Solaris Max. Air enters from the back and warm air blows out from the front. There's also a slot in the back for carrying the heater around. There are the same six touch control buttons on the top. I like how the display is integrated into this golden ring on the top. The controls and functions are exactly the same as the Solaris Max. And the remote is also exactly the same. Lastly, let's look at the smallest one. Drill calls it the Atom 1. It's only 10 inches tall in a rectangular shape, about six and a half inches wide and five and three eighth inches deep. The front grille is in a silver color along with a silver strip that goes around on the top. There's a similar slot handle in the back. What's different is this dust filter on the back can be removed for cleaning. While the controls and functions are mostly the same as the others, there's one very unique feature on this little guy, the motion sensor. 
There's also a model without the motion sensor, but this one has a motion sensor in the front. There's a button on the top and on the remote to enable or disable it. The range of the sensor is about 6.5 feet out and 60 degrees wide. When enabled, the heater will turn off after 3 minutes if it doesn't detect any motion to save energy. Very cool. All of the heaters also remember the previous settings when it's turned off and back on. For safety, they will all turn off automatically after 24 hours of continuous operation, or when they're tipped over, or when they overheat. The Atom 1 with motion sensor costs about 60 US dollars. The one without the motion sensor is $50. The Solaris Slim H3 is $75 and the larger Solaris Max is $80. There are discounts from time to time in the links I'll put in the description below. These heaters have worked very well for me. They heat up very quickly and runs quietly. Perfect for these cold winter days and nights. Do you like the space heater you're using this winter? Let me know which ones you like in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you find any part of this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you want to see more videos on how technology can enhance our life with kids and family, check out this video next. I'll see you in that next one. Until then, stay warm and remember to cherish each moment. Special thanks to Drail for sending these out for me to share with you.